Hey, do we have Al-Anon meetings here at the hospital? Mm -hmm. uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays in room 517, the times are listed. Um, and you can also find plenty more online. The Methodist Church over on Regal and the Community Center at the park are both nearby. Oh, thank you. So they don't feel so alone, right? Um, have there been um, problems with um, missing medication recently? Be more specific. You know, pills, specifically pain pills. If you feel like I'm putting you on the spot, then good. You do not go around dropping not so subtle questions about missing pain medication without expecting to sound the alarms. So you tell me what I need to know before I call Dr. Weber and file a report. Only if you promise to keep it quiet. I will if you will. Lucky's drinking again, a lot, and I'm afraid that he's gonna start using. If he's back on the pills, he's not getting them here. He thinks he can handle alcohol. And you think that if you go to Al-Anon, you'll figure out a way to get your brother sober. Except it won't work. It'll only help you deal with his drinking. He just worked so hard on his recovery, I can't believe that he would go back. It doesn't take much of a push for them to fall off. Yeah, but something else is going on. Something that I just I haven't figured out yet. Hey, I got all the... Alan on stuff from the hospital, and I'm thinking of calling Laney to stage a family intervention. You don't look so good. Thanks. So you haven't seen Lucky? No, why? I have. Elizabeth and I both spoke to him. Or well, listen would be more accurate, I guess. Did you say why he started drinking again? He knows the truth. Elizabeth and I have been sleeping together for, for months now. You liar. You selfish pig. How could you do this to your brother? open. Dump your expectations. It's not really that black and white. Nothing is. You know, every hope doesn't get shot to hell. It's okay. Dad. There's something to be said for taking off the rose-colored glasses helps you see clearly to a place where nothing can hurt you because you've got nothing to lose. Careful, son. A man with nothing to lose has nothing to live for. 